Hey, what's going on guys? Patrick back with Bearded Bastard Outdoors for another Monday Skill Mastery where I take a few minutes and help you to enhance your skills uh, so that you can be more successful in uh, camping or hiking and in, a, in, God forbid, a survival scenario. And in today we're going to talk about flint and steel. So stand by. So flint and steel is pretty cut and dry. I already made a video of how to make char cloth. That's what's most commonly used with flint and steel because the purpose of flint and steel is to create a spark, much like the ferro rod. <clears throat> and the way that it works is that you have a rock, such as this uh, Georgia flint here, that is harder uh, than this piece of steel. Now, this steel is high carbon steel. All right, the, this has to have a high carbon rating or else it's not going to work because as you strike with the rock you're actually shaving off bits of carbon off of the striker here and as <clears throat> and if you remember the fire triangle as you impact it creates that friction hopefully a bit doesn't go in your eye creates that friction um in the heat and as you shave off a bit of that um piece of carbon that's the fuel and then when it oxidizes with the air it creates that spark okay so i mean it's pretty simple like that you just put the piece of flint or char cloth in your piece of flint here and it, when you strike it you're not going to bash the crap out of it you're going to hit and basically just roll off that's one technique okay another technique is if you pin the piece of flint down which i'm not very good at doing this i know there's people who are but i'm not I'm gonna change cameras and we'll do a demonstration. Okay, you find a sharp edge, and again, when you hit it, it's just a glancing blow. Okay, let me get my tinder bundle over here. Do, 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 do. do a complete demonstration. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a piece of char, which I have just out of charred somewhere, a piece of cotton ball. Again, I open it up so I can expose some of the expose the fibers, just like so. And then I'm just going to hold it with my thumb, and I'm just going to hope to catch embers with it. Not embers, but sparks. There we go. Once I have that, drop it in tinder source change cameras change cameras real quick okay now from here you can do a figure eight type deal help to spread that heat well that went up really easy there it goes <laughs> And turn it upside down because fire likes to burn up. Ah! <laughs> Don't catch yourself on fire. <laughs> but I mean, that's it. Any questions? I hope this was valuable for you. If it was, make sure that you hit that like button and that subscribe button and that share button. Um, this was Monday Skill Mastery. And until next video, prepare, train, survive. And we'll catch you on the next one.